Hey everyone, it's Kim, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I wanted to share with you today a project I have been working on for a swap I'm doing over on Two Shabby Sisters, and I will post a link to their site down below. I've been doing swaps there for a while now, and it's been absolutely fantastic. And this uh, swap is for an altered frame, and we had to do it uh, in a Valentine theme, and we had to use the color red and white and pink. And we could do anything we wanted, but we had to stick within those those colors. And the lady that this is going to is a lady that I did a swap with back in December. Um, we had done the altered candle swap. This is for Anne. Hello, Anne. And she's a really super lovely lady. And uh, so I had a lot of fun making this for her, and I hope that she likes it. So what I did was um, I used... Um, an al a frame from Michael's, and obviously I altered it, and I used the uh, Tim Holtz seasonal stack for the paper, which is this paper that you see back here, and this paper here in the center, and um, I covered it all with that, and then I went around with this lovely uh, tool trim that I got uh, from an Etsy seller. I can't remember who, but it is my road trim. Um, if you need the name of the seller, let me know, and I'll get it to you. And uh, I just kept going in the Valentine theme. I had a lot of fun with it. And the little puzzle pieces here you'll see are from Crafty Emblaze. And I took some more uh, pieces from the seasonal stack. These are little cherubs. And then down here, the word Valentine and more little cherubs here. And I covered the uh, Crafty Emblaze puzzle pieces with them. And then I did a glossy accent over it. And they turned out really great. They actually look like puzzle pieces. Super happy with that. So back up here you'll see that I used um, more crafty emblies and I got the word February 14th right here and I love these letters and numbers from crafty emblies because they're so versatile you can use them on anything and I just think they're cool you know to put um, names and dates and whatever else you want with them they're really good for that and um, I use some wild orchid craft flowers here um, the cherry blossom in the red and white, and then the little red one. Oops, sorry for the camera moving. And then a little taupe one. A lot of these colors are red, white, taupe. Um, I don't really have a lot of pink on here because the paper, as you can see, it has a lot of taupe in it. So I just kind of let that sort of dictate to me um, the colors that I chose for the embellishments. And then I found this lace that I got here. Um, this is from Lavish Laces, and it was the perfect color. It really matched really well. And this is a Prima piece that I did. Um, I just took some of the silver and gold rub and buff and just lightly went over it. So I went all the way around the heart with that lace, and then coming down at the bottom, you'll see a little crafty Emblies key, and I embellished it with um, a little bit of red bling. And there's some more of the Wild Orchid Craft flowers, and of course more over here. And this is a Tim Holtz ticket. I just, I thought that was appropriate. And it also, you know, was perfect color too. So I didn't really distress this at all. I just sort of kept it like sort of neat and clean, but in a shabby chic look because I know that Anne loves shabby chic. So uh, that is my frame. And I, I am quite pleased with how it turns out. So I really hope that Anne likes it. Um, I did finish the back. It's just painted in a in a cream color. And she can take this out and add her own photograph. And then I signed it for her. So that is my altered Michaels frame for Anne. And uh, check out Two Shabby Sisters. They do a lot of great swaps on there. And I have a few more swaps to share with you. So I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day and happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.